So this is the fabric that we're using today. It will be very easy for you to see the right way around. So it should be nice and simple. And the first thing you need to do is to cut out your pattern pieces. So you should always cut out your pattern pieces um, with the right sides together. That way nothing gets sewn backwards. And you should also be mindful if your fabric has any stripes or direction. And you do need to pay attention to that when you're cutting out the fabric. For example, if you want horizontal stripes or vertical stripes. But for this one, we don't have to worry about that because there is no direction. So this here is the waistband. So we, we need to cut it on a fold here and we need two of them. This here is the uh, leggings. So what I'm going to do today, because I do not want to make full length leggings, I am actually going to fold it here. Um, you can also cut your pattern piece. I just like to keep it long. So I fold this here. This is a fold that I've already made. Um, and that way it is probably quite high, like high thigh. So quite short shorts um, and then you just cut around like this and just do that like normal um, if you would like full length leggings and you want to do the matching crop top for example I think you would need 1.5 to 2 meters of fabric whereas if you just do shorts I am doing a whole set with one meter of fabric so it does just depend on how much fabric you have and also the direction of your fabric obviously if you need vertical stripes Sometimes you need a little bit more because it's a little tricky to put your pattern pieces on. So we are going to go ahead, cut out one of these and two of these. So this one here needs to be cut on the fold, which means this edge just gets lined up with a fold, like so. And we will cut two of these. Okay, so now that we've cut out all of our pattern pieces. I'm just going to mark that this is the top of the legging. That way we don't get mixed up, especially with shorts. It can sometimes be confusing which is which. Great. I'll pop the waistband pieces aside for now. I'll grab one of these pieces, one of the leg pieces. And what we're going to do is sew the inner leg seam here. So. We'll fold it over like this, join the crotch pieces together, just like that, and we're going to sew along this seam and do that for both of them. So I have gone ahead and sewn those two edges. I've overlocked them. If you don't have an overlocker, a zigzag stitch will be perfectly fine. And the next part is putting the legs together. So you turn this inside out here, right way around actually. And then you just pop it on the inside of this one. the crotch seams together and the two crotch pieces so you want to be as 
careful as you can with this section because that way you're going to line up the, these two leg seams. We are going to sew these crotch seams together. And once you've done that, we'll come back and do the rest. So this is the finished crotch seam here. I've tried to line up this as best as I could. And next step is to move on to the waistband. So these are the shorts coming together nicely. Next step is the waistband. So we have the two pieces here. One piece will be the front and one will be the back. So we need to sew along these two side seams here. Just these two. Now that I've sewn these waistband seams, it's time to put them both together. So what you do here is fold the waistband in half. and you pin these side seams together. There we go, just like that. Then what we want to do is mark the center point here. So I'm just going to use my mat here to measure. And now we need to connect it to our pin. So what we're going to do is turn this out the right way around. Just like this. And you're going to get your waistband in this direction. So with your raw edges up the top, you're going to pop the pants on the inside. Just like that. This is the the back seam here. So I'm going to put that in the center of the waistband like we marked earlier. This is the front seam. I'm going to line it up with the center of the waistband like we marked earlier as well. Now you'll notice that the waistband is actually slightly smaller than the shorts. Completely normal, I've done this on purpose because I like a more firm waistband when I'm wearing one. So you just pop it like this. You find the center point of your leg here. Now you can see here there's extra fabric here compared to the waistband. So stretch it slightly until it lines up and then just pin this section to you. Now that we have pinned everything here, you're going to sew along this edge. And now when you sew, you're just going to have to just hold it firm, stretch it so that you don't have any um, folds or anything like that while you sew. So just stretch it a little as you pop it through your sewing machine. Great, now that we have done that waistband seam, your Shorts should be coming along very nicely. Perfect, so what is left to do is just to hem the bottom here. So what we're going to do is we're gonna fold it in approximately one and a half centimeters. And then you just pop it through your sewing machine this way um, and then your shorts will be finished. So. Come with me to the sewing machine and we'll do that now. So for this last part, what we're going to do is fold the raw edge inside like this, approximately two centimeters. 
and we're going to pop it into the sewing machine. So when you fold this, just make sure you keep this part nice and flat. It will stop you from um, getting any, any excess fabric around here. So I'll show you what this part looks like a little bit closer. So this is what it will look like. And you just hold this here as you sew that. So I like to do a small zigzag stitch. You can also do a straight stitch. If you do that, just stretch it slightly as you're sewing. And then we are all done. Now we're ready to see the final product.